Hello, my name is Chris Black, and today I'm going to show you the Graphics Plugin 2.0 for EDIUS. This is the first release of the Graphics Plugin supporting EDIUS. I would like to show you the basic workflow, and for this I'm going to use EDIUS Workgroup version 8, although EDIUS Pro 8 is also supported. For more information about supported versions, please check the release notes. First, I'll make a new project and select a project preset. Let's start by importing a clip into the project. This can be done by right-clicking in the bin and clicking Add File. And then drag it into the sequence. In order to configure the graphics plugin, Go to the Tools menu and click VizRT Graphics Plugin, which opens the Graphics Plugin Configuration tool. Here you can set the specific engine for rendering, or you can use a connection broker for load balancing over a pool of Viz engines. If using Viz Trio as an editor, you also have to select which media sequencer to use. In addition to this, you can also do more advanced configuration of the graphics plugin. More information about configuration can be found in the documentation. Once correctly configured, I can add the graphics plugin by right clicking in the sequence and selecting New Clip and VizRT Graphics Plugin from the sub menu. This will add the graphics plugin to the sequence and open the configured editor. A Viz Trio version is bundled with the graphics plugin installed in. It will be used by default. The Viz Pilot Newsroom component is also supported, and that will also support the use of transition logic scenes. I'll choose a template from the current show and fill out the fields. Then I click the Save As button, and VizTrio will suggest a page name. I'll just press Enter to accept the default suggestion. Now I can stretch the clip, and move it around where I want it to be. To see the result, I can render the selected clip. Click space to play the result. If I need to make some changes to the fields, I can double click on the clip to open the editor again. When I'm done, I click Save to return to EDIUS. That's it for this demo. For more information, please check the release notes and the documentation.